this is a real life example actually from a local council quite near here. But don't worry, it's not Poole and it's not Bournemouth for people who are from there. Um, they were planning to do this 20 million project, it's a road they were building, and five years. And I, I was talking to the guy after, I think one year had gone, um, and he said, everything's fine, we've spent four million quid on it, um, so everything's fine. Now, what do you think? Is this project fine? 20 million pounds over five years, one year's gone, we've spent four million. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, yeah, but leaving aside inflation. Pardon? Yes, and, and as you were saying earlier on, it could well be that all the expensive stuff is going to be at the end. Um, so we, we need to know the spend profile, don't we? Um, there's something else, though. There's something else I want to know. Let's suppose the spend profile really is £4 million a year. What was the other thing that could, have, could be going wrong? They yeah, they might not have done a year's worth. They might have only done 10%. So it could well be that... Um, that they've done 10% and it's going to end up costing them 40 million instead of 20. So we need to know how much progress has been made and we need to know what the spend profile is. So how can I find out how much progress has been made? What's an easy way to get a view of that? Gantt chart. Yeah. And what about the spend profile? How can I find out whether they're going to spend most of the money at the beginning or the middle or the end? Gantt chart. Because the Gantt chart will tell us what we're doing when, won't it? And we can just look and see where the expensive tasks are. And I showed you the adding up of the hours earlier on to get that profile. But you could do exactly the same with the money, couldn't you? Because if you just put what you're going to spend along each of those bars, you could add it all up and get a spend profile for the money. So the point is, Gantt chart will tell you both those things. So I said to the guy, OK, so what does the Gantt chart show? Guess what he said? Yeah. He said, oh, actually, I don't think we've got one of them. So I said, well, how do you control the project? And he said, oh, well, we have... Um, we have a meeting with the contractor every month. So I said, oh, right, so the, obviously the contractor's got a Gantt chart then. And he went, no, they have Well, they may have, I don't know, but I haven't seen it. So I said, well, what do you do at that meeting? What do you talk about if you don't have a, a half-coloured-in Gantt chart? And he said, well, good question, really. He said, basically, they tell me stories. So they say, oh, it's been a terrible month. We couldn't get the concrete to harden off, but we used a different mixture and we managed to do it and Fred worked overtime, so, you know. And they just tell him stuff, which is all very jolly, but he actually has no picture, really, of what's happening. Now, he could drive out there and look, but if he gets there, what will he find? Loads of holes in the ground, concrete, lorries, men running around. It doesn't actually tell you anything. The Gantt chart's the only thing that actually tells you what should you have done, what have you actually done. 